Hi guys, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today guys. Recently I did a video um, where I mentioned, where I talked about really using Dr. Sebri's uterine wash and oil for fibroids, you know, people who want to use that as a sole, sole means to get rid of fibroids and I mentioned potassium phosphate and I thought you know what I should probably do a video on potassium phosphate as it relates to the brain and nerves. Now potassium phosphate is critical in terms of brain and nerves function. People who are low in potassium phosphate usually would you know see symptoms manifested such as weak or poor memory, Alzheimer's, dementia, multiple sclerosis, mel mental exhaustion and these kinds of things they would experience. This is how important it is to have this in the diet and its significance where it concerns potassium phosphate and it's important to the cells of the brain. It came out of the work of Dr. Schussler in the 1880s. He did analysis of ash, of human ash, and he did cell analysis. And based on his work, he realized that certain aspect of the body was predominant in, you know, one mineral or the other. And so he developed cell salts to help to, you know, um, balance those deficiencies or, you know, correct the issue. And Dr. Sebi was the person who first introduced me in one of his lectures. I was listening to, to this whole thing. And Dr. Sebi, as Dr. Sebi had noted in the lecture, you know, why use an inorganic substance um, you, when you have a deficiency? It's better to use the herbs that are rich in the particular mineral that is, you know, manifesting. And so where it concerns the brain and nerves and the potassium phosphate, because as I noted, potassium phosphate, you know, brain and nerve food also. And some of the herbs I did mention in that video, you could check that out if you haven't, but they are like sweet almond, flax, um, uh, there is stinging nettle, uh, the bladderwrack, there is also Irish moss, uh, hydrangea, sage, these are some of the herbs I noted, you know, that are rich in this. Wild apple is also said to be really very rich in potassium phosphate. And there are other sources, other herbal sources, as well as food sources. And it's always easy, it's not easy to get a list of foods that are predominant in potassium phosphate because what you find is that it's not often um, you know separated like that and we know that yes there is potassium phosphate potassium sulfate potassium chloride for example and usually you you know you know that a food okay this is rich in potassium or that is rich in potassium but it's not broken down uh, further to that and getting that information is not always easy but for some of the herbs especially it you know we can get the information for that and so I have some information on my blog I'll put a link below and I was asked to do a list of foods and I will have that up also it will probably not be a long list but hopefully it will help someone and you know, they are the herbs also. I hope you found this useful, guys. Just remember, potassium phosphate feeds the brain and nerves. 
and so i hope you found this useful subscribe to my channel like and share my videos guys give that that give it that thumbs up comment i really do appreciate it because these it helped the video you know not to get lost in all the sea of stuff that is out there so i do appreciate that so when i get likes thumbs up um you know whatever interaction with the video is appreciated so anyway guys don't forget be the change you'd like to see in this world have a fantabulous day today.